Hi, I'm Alexandra from Artemis Medical Systems. In this video, I will be explaining the concepts of absorbance and transmittance, the backbones of spectrophotometry. When you shine a light in the human tissue, a few things happen. A part of the light is reflected, some light is absorbed, a portion of the light is scattered through the tissue, and finally, some of it is transmitted. It goes through the tissue. With near-infrared spectroscopy, we can quantify the amount of ingoing light, the light that is fired from our transmitters, and the amount of outgoing light that is picked up by our receivers. Written as a formula, we can quantify the absorbance, which equals the incoming light divided by the outgoing light, and the transmittance, which equals the outgoing light divided by the incoming light. To give you an example, first imagine that we have a fully transparent tissue. In this case, the amount of ingoing light is equal to the amount of outgoing light. What does this mean concretely? That if you shine a light on it, all of the light will be able to go through. It will be 100% transmitted. Now imagine we have a fully opaque tissue. In this case, if we shine a light onto the tissue, the amount of transmittance will be zero, since none of the light will be received by the receiving end. It will be fully absorbed. Fortunately for us, the human tissue is neither completely clear nor completely opaque. Therefore, a certain amount of light is absorbed by the chromophores in our tissues. The formula then becomes optical density, also known as absorbance. Both terms are used interchangeably, which equals the logarithm of the incoming light divided by the outgoing light. This is the first half of the formula that we use for our near-infrared spectroscopy devices. To see how these physical properties can help us estimate concentration changes, watch part 2 of the video Concepts of Absorbance and Transmittance in Near-Infrared Spectroscopy. See you then!